I think he um, he has a really beautiful technique, I think, and I think he captures a lot of um, good moods in his photos. Um, I've, I've seen him progress as a photographer over the last 10 years, I think. So I used to work for him when we started out doing, you know, local stuff, so to speak. And uh, it's really beautiful to see how he's developed and how he's now become, a, you know, an international photographer. He was, he was really great to work with. It was very relaxed um, and he had a pretty good um, opinion of what he wanted and he knew exactly how he wanted the photos to come out and he knew how to get it too. So there wasn't really any drama or any big experimentation, so to speak, because he had a pretty good vision of what he wanted. So I think it was fairly easy. I mean, we had long working days, obviously, <clears throat> but um, I really enjoyed it a lot and I, I miss it sometimes, I really do. I think it's important for any band to have some sort of, um, you know, flair for, for, um, for image, so to speak. Uh, even though the word image sometimes is misconstrued into being something bad, um, I don't think it necessarily has to be. I think it's great when you immediately can recognize a band from their photos or something like that. I think it gives a good. Uh, I think it's a very good thing for a band. So I think it's I think it's important for all bands to have sort of like a good visual expression. I always liked the ones um, from that series where we were where we took a road trip in the states. There was a lot of them. There was actually another one over there with my friend Christian Beck from the same session, and there's a big one in there. I thought they were good because they were sort of what I talked about being more candid photos. He just shot us while we were driving through the state. So I think I really like, I always liked them a lot.